Hello and welcome to Backseat Gamer. God, my balls itch. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. And scratch it. Thank you. Uh, longtime listeners of the show, or viewers of the show, since it is a video program, technically, uh, will know that that's a callback to a joke from about three months ago. <laughs> Maybe more. Actually, I think it was like early episodes of Doom 2. <laughs> mm -hmm. God, your balls are weird. Yeah, we were talking about... Uh, I think we were talking about me sleeping around for something for some reason and getting Ganacefa herpalades and we just didn't and you you joked that I would open an episode that way and son of a bitch you you finally did yep took me actually I was, I was, it, was, it, was, like, it was it was eight months ago <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> it was something to the effect of hi uh, welcome to the show I'm Mike Riley and I am positive that I have been. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not gonna open it that way. I have bold face lie. My balls do itch sometimes, though. Not for any uh, dirty reasons. Just they just itch sometimes. Sometimes it gets hot and sweaty, and they stick to my leg. That's how it works. My balls are stuck to my leg. That's right, Pavarotti. They are. <laughs> Lord edition, oh, edition. my balls are stuck to my leg. To my leg. <laughs> I want to fuck you like an ass. I now want Luciano Pavarotti to sing all the Nine Inch Nails songs. Well, I know it's going to be kind I of a hard task. I know he's dead, but. We could still make it happen. We could find a person. You are the perfect drug. Yeah, we find an impersonator who can do a reasonable Luciano Pavarotti impersonation, and we have him sing all the Nine Inch Nails songs. Everybody out yep. there thought I was going to say we do it with AI, but no. Fuck AI. You know, say, just say no to AI. That's right. You don't want people with 27 fingers and 16 ball sacks. You don't want any people with 27 fingers unless you're a woman looking for a real good time. In, in that case, 27 fingers is just enough. <laughs> just barely. But 28, <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> 28, then you're, not, yeah, not, then you're going too damn far. That's right. The vaginal opening can only stretch so far. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Mm. Indeed. So this will probably be the final episode of Doom 3 for, well, forever, I think. I don't know that we're going to finish it. We'll probably come close. We've already finished the main game. This was just bonus, and I was just going to play it for a couple of extra episodes. Uh -huh. I was uh, thinking okay. I was thinking that we would get through it in the, in a shorter amount of time because it's just DLC content. If we get through it in this episode, that's that's cool. I mean, I'm not I'm not really sure uh, how long of a run through this is supposed to be. I don't have that kind of information. Well, the uh, the main game took us seven episodes, so seven hours, ish. This is episode. I forget. All right. I forget what episode number this is that we're recording right now. This would be episode number twelve. So this has been our. This is the start of our number five of Resurrection of Evil. I don't think it's going to be much longer. Hmm. I, I'm pretty sure if this episode wouldn't isn't the end of it, the next the next one would have been if we had decided to record. But I'm I, I'm at this point I'm like, it's fine if we don't finish the DLC. I'd rather move on to other things. We're playing Project Warlock two as our other uh playthrough and I'm I'm enjoying it thus far. We'll we'll figure something else out. It's a shit ton <laughs> of it's a shit ton of fun stuff. It is. Oh. oh, 
It's just how they moan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. It's how they're moaning. Hello. Oh, I'm moaning, moaning. I'm flat. My name is Big, and I'm Big. Yeah, I'll find you, Froggy. You fuck you. <laughs> I'm Duke Nukem, and I'm far too busy portraying Big the Cat in the Sonic games. <laughs> Sometimes I get it all mixed up and I go, Kick ass, it's you bubblegum foggy. <laughs> you ever wonder if that happens to him? Like he, he forgets what game he's doing yeah. and he starts like... Like he was doing the nines for Duke Nukem Forever and he's going like, I'm going to find my froggy. I mean, babes. Uh, I'm, wait, strike that. Can I, can, no, I, no. can I do that again? <laughs> We're alive, buddy. We're alive. Bullshit. Yep, because you know, <laughs> the voice actors voice their voice their uh, characters live characters as you're playing yeah, as you're playing the game. Ridiculous. It's like when anybody asks, "Can can they do an can they do the an animated show live?" And I'm like, "No, that would be a great strain on the animators' wrists." Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Although I say that, but they found a way to do it with The Simpsons. There was a there was an episode a few years back that they uh, a portion of it was live, and it was just Dan Castellaneta in a mocap suit doing basically VTuber stuff as Homer. I feel like didn't wasn't he reading like some kind of newspaper or yes to prove that he was live yes he he indeed was so yeah that's a thing so yeah even cartoons can be live. Nothing. Nothing is off limits anymore. Not even Squidward's house. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, stop. SpongeBob, stop fucking around, SpongeBob. For fuck's sake, just flip the goddamn Krabby Patties. <laughs> okay, Squidward. Ah, fuck you. What'd you say, you I, little I, bitch? Nothing. Said I love you. Mm. That's what I. <laughs> well, that that's kind of weird too. It's it. Well, yeah. <laughs> it, it it very much is. What what I would prefer is if you just shut your goddamn pie hole. Which one? I'm a sponge. I have many holes. Oh. <laughs> many. I have many holes. Many, <laughs> many, many holes. SpongeBob has many holes. There's the title of this episode. <laughs> so many holes to fill. Uh, I just don't know. My favorite story about that show is the, the one where they did the the episode they did where they the characters were cursing but they were censored by dolphin noises and Tom Kenny couldn't just couldn't fake curse so he was just like just let us really curse so they really cursed and the uncensored I, audio is just buried somewhere in in Nickelodeon's vault I was going to say I, I thought I thought that was actually debunked was it I've heard I've heard several different variations saying that, oh, that's actually not true, or something to that effect. I don't know. I don't know either. Hey, Patrick, how the fuck are you? Pretty fucking good, SpongeBob. <laughs> SpongeBob, I want you to fuck me right in my squirrel pussy. Nah, okay, Jim Cornette. 
I was vaguely, yeah. I was vaguely aware how uh, of how how much the, my Sandy Squirrel sounded like Jim Cornette as I was saying it. <laughs> I was just like, "Well, that's not going to go wrong at all, is it?" Well, nope. <laughs> totally went wrong. Well, well, if I'm stuck in Bikini Bottom, I might as well get my rocks off. Yeah. Hey, that exactly I feel it. like Sandy Squirrel is just a higher pitched squirrel cartoon version of uh, <laughs> Jim Cornette. Cornette? I mean, you, you don't really hear Sandy talking about the young bucks. That we know. That's fair. But hey, what the fuck do I know? Uh, quite a lot, as it turns out. Quite a lot about the band, yes, which we discussed in the previous episode. Well, you were kind of, uh, you were kind of leading that discussion, so. This is true. I was just, I was just kind of supplying. Supplies. Things that I knew. Holy shit. What? The broad, the Broadway version of Death Becomes Her. This fall. Nice. Actually, rather enjoyed that movie. Was that uh, Bruce Willis was in that? I think. Yeah. But it didn't look anything like Bruce Willis. <laughs> it's so he weird. Had, like, that, a weird. Mustache. Yeah, yeah, the weird mustache and glasses, and so yeah, that did not look like Bruce Willis. You pushed me down the stairs. And Meryl Streep. Oh Meryl Streep's in it, and she's. Extremely fuckable in that movie. Yes. I remember. I mean, honestly, I, I probably still would just because she's worth millions and pounds and of dollars. Goldie Hawn was also very fuckable. In Absolutely. It. As was Isabella Rosalini. Yes. As was Bruce Will. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> well, I, I mean. If I was a woman, I would stick my wiener in him. I mean, what? If I was your woman! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, guess I'm backtracking. Guess I'm backtracking. Oops. Okay, so what was the point of this room, then? Why was it locked off? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know either. Oh! Commencing main That's what I needed to do. Shut down in two you got it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shut down sequence complete. Hmm. Okay, reactor is shut down. Goody good. I get to activate the bridge. Take it to the bridge. Hey, area clear. All right. Sweet. If you were my little girl. If you were my boo ba. <laughs> if you were my boo ba. And that was your booba. <laughs> if I was your booba. If you were my booba. I would be a fatty lump. Actually, I already am that. So I guess I am a booba. <laughs> I stay, I stay. I'm a big lump of fat. Can't really argue the point. Big old... I mean, I, I just I don't I don't like to hear my friends self deprecate themselves that much. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Bah, 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 bah. I I like to treat my friends with respect, and I want them to see the positive aspects about themselves. Isn't that right, Mike? You fat piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is going to end in an insult, isn't it? 
I mean, I could have swerved you and be like, isn't that right, Mike, you wonderfully handsome man? But then you would have been like, oh, you're just, you're making stuff up. That's, that's correct, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> no, <I'm> dick. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, are you saying I'm ugly? No. What part of dumb oh, son good. of a bitch means ugly? <laughs> Being a dumb son well, of a I'm bitch just, has worked I'm, out for lots of Hollywood's prettiest people. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, I don't, I don't want people to say I'm ugly. Being a dumb son of a bitch <laughs> is basically Johnny Knoxville's entire career. <laughs> well, that and being held together by like tape and <laughs> duct tape now. and hope, yeah. <laughs> Fucking after all the shit he's done to his body, in the name of like that, uh, in the name of Jackass. Like, I broke my cock since like eight hundred. Three seasons times. of television and five, four movies. I was like fuck that. Five movies actually. Five jackass Just movies. Count ba- if you count bad grandpa, which I do, it is basically a jackass movie. Mm. The Oscar nominated bad grandpa, by the way. Yes. That, you know, that is something that he can, that Johnny Knoxville can hang his hat on. Like, one of the movies that I did was nominated for an Oscar. I, I'm sure that wasn't the only one that he's been in that was nominated for an Oscar, but it's the fact that it was a jackass movie. Well, what could he have done? What else could he have done that could he, have been nominated? I mean, he was in Men in Black 2. Uh, uh, that's true. That could have been nominated for special effects, costume. I was gonna um, say, are you are you telling me that uh, what the hell was that movie where he pretended to be? Uh, oh, you mean um, the the Ringer? <laughs> yeah, oh, you didn't even have to, ta- you didn't have to you didn't even have to say what he was pretending to be, and I already knew immediately what you were referring to. When the fuck did we get ice um, cream? <laughs> 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 Men in Black 2 was apparently not nominated for an Oscar. That's that's a shame. It could have been. It did it got nominations for its visual effects, but not for the Oscars. I believe uh John and Oscar was also in big trouble. With that Tim Allen movie, with I, I sincerely doubt that is a Oscar nom. I mean, probably, come on, movie forty three. Hello, was that Oscar nominated? Oh, it's Mike. A, it's a stupid movie, but so was Jackass, and it got an Oscar nom. It maybe it was nominated for best mustard fart. I don't know, but I mean that's a strong contender. I think. <laughs> certainly not. Certainly not any kind of. You got me. You Oscar. got me looking up Johnny Knoxville's dis- uh, video, uh, mo- uh, filmography. Uh, filmography. That's, that's baby. the word. D- discography. Remember when he sang, uh, "I got shot in the balls today." That's. And he sang it just like Johnny Cash. I got shot in the balls today, that's... just to see if I could still feel. His real name is Philip. That's his name. Philip. Philip Clapp. John Clapp. All right. So feature films: Desert Blues '95, Number Two, Big Brother '98. I think it was a um, skateboard film. Skateboarding. Uh, he's in a movie, a direct-to-video movie from 1999 called Boob. Just these boom. are all skate. <laughs> these are all skateboarding videos. I'm pretty just, sure. I'm, pretty sure, sure, sure Boob was nominated for best title of anything. You know, <laughs> I just I don't I don't know why, but I come on. His star making turn as college guy in Coyote Ugly. Yeah, I wasn't that nominated. That was actually like I think that was his first film, wasn't it? His first like film, film like actual film. Maybe, maybe. 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 
<laughs> big trouble. The only thing that was in trouble was that movie's box office. <laughs> Let's see what else he was in. Deuces Wild, Men in Black Two. Walking Tall, Grand a dirty, Death a dirty, Austin. a dirty shame. Whoa, Do he played Grant. Oh no, he did not play Grant Parsons. Never mind. I was going to say that's actually kind of cool, but no such luck. Uh, let's see, Lords of Dogtown, Dukes of Hazard, Killshot, Father of Invention, Nature Calls, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He was the voice of Leonardo. Wait, what? Yeah, the 2014 Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah, he was Leonardo. Uh, you didn't know that? Hi, I'm Leonardo. I'm Leonardo. Welcome <laughs> to Jackass. <laughs> yeah. Split, yeah. Splinter's going to kick me in the nuts. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Knoxville was a Ninja Turtle. Deal with it. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't, that right, isn't that right, Splinter? Leave me alone. I actually didn't even realize that... Uh, that he was in Ninja Turtles until I looked at his filmography. I'm like, oh, yeah, he was. <laughs> what? That's an oh, interesting. That was God. it. And I think I thought at the time, because this was 10 years ago that movie came out. And I, thought, I thought at the time, I might have thought at the time, but we might have been recording a mental cast at that point in time. <laughs> and I remember thinking at the time, I was like, that's interesting casting. I'm sure there's a. What. what when exactly did that movie come out? It was probably late in 2014. Uh, no, it was uh, it was August of 2014. So we were, I'm fairly certain certain we were, we we recorded a mental cast where that movie was mentioned, and I was like, that's weird casting. I bet if I go back and look, um, through the 2014 archives of the mental cast, I'm sure that's I'm sure I brought that up at some point. It would be it would be season twenty six, I suppose. Probably. But yeah, I'm just saying uh, there's got to be at least another movie that he was in that was at least nominated for an Oscar. There, he's been in quite a few good movies. <laughs> Strangely, mm -hmm. his his agent is really good at getting him good roles. <laughs> Hey, listen, Johnny. It's going to be great. In this movie, you're going to be a, a sleazy guy who pretends to be mentally challenged. How's that? We're going to that call. That's right. We're going to call this movie Jackass Number Two. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you get Rip Taylor again, I'm on board. Yep. They, oh God! It's me. <laughs> they would have had to reanimate his corpse for the fourth Jackass movie, unfortunately. Yep, and that's unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate. Oh. Now we're in the uh, when you we're in the lull in between we're in the lull in between conversations. What we well, gonna I mean, what like, we gonna talk about next, audience? Tune in and find out. Hmm. You know what wakes me up in the morning? A tongue in the ass. That'll do it. The heck, that gets me moving and grooving. <laughs> I start yelling like Goofy. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. I won't have to. I guess I don't have to wipe today. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Hmm. Somebody got a special surprise. That's right. Hmm. Tuna surprise. My favorite. Oh. 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 Who did that? <laughs> <laughs> Muppet gay sex. Let's talk about it. I mean, I, I, every Muppet has been fisted, so I don't know how I would qualify all that. Mm. I mean, do you suppose 
and late at night when it's cold, you know, a cold winter's night at uh, Statler and Waldorf cuddle together. Possible. Uh, oh, it's a lot better than watching Fozzie Bear do jokes. No. Oh, 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 as oh, we know, God. as we know, that's a Muppet's lifeline. The Muppet, the Muppet can only live with a fist up its ass. His, the the fist came out of his ass, and now felt's leaking out. Disgusting. I saw a picture the other day that said, uh, "Here, all the Muppets' nude photos leaked, and it was just a picture of a bunch of hands." Mm. I was like, "Yep, that's accurate." Gosh. I remember, I remember when I saw Fozzie's leaves. Waka waka indeed. Every once in a while on Facebook reels, a video will come up of uh, Kermit on Omegle. And she, he, he, <laughs> yeah, he shows his penis to people, and it's just a cucumber. What? Oh. I was going to say. Like, no, Kermit doesn't have a penis. He just shows a cucumber. He pretends the cucumber is his dick. And people are like, no, my childhood, no! I don't know if he still does it, because Omegle doesn't exist anymore, but... He might do it on the other side. Too. Yeah, Omegle shut down, I think, last year. Something like that. Something like that. Oh, no! Now how are we going to show our dicks to people? <laughs> to random Haven't strangers you... on the internet. <laughs> Don't you know anything? Pornhub. Come on. That's fair. Get, get yeah, but I'm I, I live. I want live reactions. I want people to look at my dick and go, oh, that's a dick. <laughs> Just live. I want to see the reactions. I could put up a video of me of me fiddling with it. You want to? But I want the want I want reaction. the live reactions to it. <laughs> that's that's what? the that's why is the this, money. Why is that man showing me a cocktail? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's a Vienna sausage. <laughs> It's big. It's a Vienna finger. That's right. It's a lady finger. Mm, it gross. too. It too is filled with cream. Mm, gross. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> That's disgusting. Hmm. What's wrong with that guy's mouth? I, it's what I was going to say. His mouth is in a box on the end on the end of a thing. That is that is unsettling. Please kill it, kill kill it. I'm trying. Ooh. Oh, what is that thing supposed to be? Oh, dead now. Well, that was just just just. It was gross. crazy. <laughs> Uh oh, Brian Christopher again. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Brian Christopher fell on top of me. System error. This was the only thing I was not programmed for. <laughs> I was programmed to have spaghetti was... shoved in my rectum. But not for Brian Christopher to fall on me. Beep boop. <laughs> Wait a minute. Back up a second. What was that first part? Beep boop. Oh, okay. Just, <laughs> just checking. It was a beep followed by a boop. <laughs> what? Spaghetti up my butt? That's absurd. <laughs> That's Chef Boy RD. And boy, are these mm. nuts tired of being dragged across your face? Your face? God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. I knew that was coming. I knew that yeah. was coming. Should have worn a condom. 
Hmm. It's true. Can we go to hell yet? Uh, this, this, this is getting kind of boring. There's only so much of a killing revenants before it starts to wear out on a guy. Oh no, it's it's tube mouth. Yeah, tube mouth is yeah. dead. Whew. You mean what no destination? Heck? I selected it. Delta, the only thing you can fucking Apparently. select. Pad one. Apparently you did not select it. There. <laughs> there. Ah, 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 You're giving... No one's giving birth to oh, you! No. I'm coming out of the machine! <laughs> the machine! The machine! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Where the hell are you now? Uh, sadly, not hell. Yeah. Ah, but I now have a BFG. <laughs> BFG. BF Jesus. Big fat Jesus. Let's talk about it. Talk about big fat Jesus. I mean, think about it this way, Jesus. If you were fat, you wouldn't have been nailed to the cross because you would have fallen off. Of yeah, it would have been broken half. <laughs> then it wouldn't have been. Broke, it wouldn't have been a cross. Been okay. It would have just been a beam. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, where am I supposed to go then, Jenny? Don't know. It's my boat. You had AIDS, Jenny. Why were you performing naked for those people, Jenny? <laughs> Why were your tatas and your woo woo out, Jenny? I could see your butt hawks. Uh, I mean, obviously, I don't go back in there. Do I? Am I supposed to jump with my penis? I don't, I don't, uh, I don't understand. There's like oh, what, nowhere to go. Where do go. Where do I go? Where do I go? Well, I can't do anything else with that teleporter because the monitors are all messed up. Oh, now it's open. That door wouldn't open for me a second ago. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> mm. More and more people are tuning in to the Guardian game. Nice. Everybody's Everybody's loving it. Everybody wants to be a cat. Because a cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. I'm just saying, I picked a pretty good cast. I'd say I so. How, I, especially Zoe. My dear little Zoe. Ah, what? Oh, no. oh. Okay, I guess I'm here now. What the hell the hell did you get there? There was a teleporting like fragment there, and it just teleported me for some reason. It gave a birth to me. It gave a birth to my boot.
Another grunt. Does anybody have a lozenge? Douglas. Douglas? I'm gonna ask you this once, Douglas. Did you put your penis in Mrs. Dink's axe? No, Mr. Dink. <laughs> I can tell when you're white. <laughs> I can tell you when you're white, Douglas. Your pee pee gets hard when you're white, Douglas. And you're pretty erect right now. <laughs> you're poking me in the ass, Douglas, and I don't even know how that's possible because I'm standing in front of you. You know what, Douglas? I'm just. You're a really weird fucking kid, Douglas. And that friend of yours is even weirder. He's fucking blue. Get him some oxygen, man. I mean, I'm, I mean, tactically, he, that, ah! he's supposed to be. I believe. But I'd be writing that assumption, Douglas. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know. I don't know, Mr. Ben. It's a good question. Is he Malaysian, Douglas? <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he one of is he one of those slanty eyes Douglas? whoa all right nope mr dink's gotta leave <laughs> what well, i could i could have said ching chong china wow. uh, but i did that's, we're very, that's really we're very that's rich coming from a guy named dink <laughs> we're very progressive in bluffing <laughs> so, so listen, baby, are you you're uh, you're AT, right? Uh, so, you know, sometimes uh, listen, Patty, I want to leave some mayonnaise on your face if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> just you know, I mean, listen, Patty, you and Doug. Just it, it it doesn't work. He's a he's a fucking nerd. He's a fucking loser. Look at me. I have a seven inch penis, Patty. <laughs> why? Why do you think Mrs. Dink stays with me so long, Patricia? <laughs> but you're calling Patty by her full name. <laughs> <sighs> That's funny. I'm gonna relook up the locker codes because now, now I pulled up my browser and it was still on the Johnny Knoxville's filmography. <laughs> oh my yes! I look up the weirdest things. Sometimes if you ever, I can't explain it, Dane. If I ever die, just erase my search history. Oh fuck that! But like promote it, show people what I was looking for. They might know why I died. They, I've died of insanity. <laughs> well, I I just don't understand, officer. The last thing he looked up was Johnny Knoxville filmography, and then Kablooey. <laughs> he died. Well, there's his, there's your problem. His nutsack blew off. Oh, he died. Yeah, that's probably he died of blown nutsack. <laughs> it, it's called uh, uh, S. It's called S N S C. Spontaneous nutsack combustion. <laughs> it, it it affects us all. Well, except women who don't. Have. Yeah, it's like one in every twelve men experience uh, it's spontaneous nutsack combustion. Hello. <laughs> Hello. My name is Bud Dick. Sixteen <laughs> years ago, I I suffered from. Spontaneous nutsack combustion. Look at me now. I have purple skin. That's because of all the bruising from the explosion. Flemeth <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> mm. mm. <laughs> 11. You know, you know, now that I think about it, 
Roger Klotz has green skin. Uh, Skeeter has blue skin. I have purple skin. <clears throat> what the fuck is happening in our town? Do I live in Chernobyl? Is this, there radiation? The dug, there radiation the, yeah, the dug plate place on Three Mile Island. <laughs> is this Bikini Atoll? <laughs> the lesser known nuclear <laughs> disaster. <laughs> it's true. What the fuck? I thought you were going to be like, uh, Skeeter's blue and, and uh, <laughs> Roger is green. Am I their kid? Because <laughs> green and blue. <laughs> that, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> you, just, you just blew my fucking mind, sir. <laughs> I don't even know how Roger. that's possible because I'm older than both of them, but I mean. That's, I was going to say, that would be fucking crazy if that happens. That's some time travel Adam, bullshit going on around here. <laughs> let me tell you something. I don't know what the fuck is going on in Washington, but somebody better figure it out. Got kids fucking each other and fucking me. Ah! Anyway. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, this is the hell teleporter. Thank goodness. Oh. Okay. Do I not get to go? Oh, there we go. Mm. <laughs> I just stand there looking stupid for a second. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Uh, the condition of getting into hell is standing there looking stupid. Got it. Damn. Wow. Perfect. I was just reading Johnny Knoxville's filmography, so... <laughs> Standing still and looking stupid, the Johnny Knoxville story. It got him millions of dollars, so I can't really fault it. That's true. I need more allowance. Alright, we gotta be coming up on the end of this game then. Oh, for God's sake, this, I hope so. The hell is where the last one ended. Mm -hmm. There's still a, a boss. There's still a boss character that we have to take care of, because Patrugger hasn't gotten his comeuppance yet, and he's still wandering around That's... down here with his head in a bird's mouth. <sighs> yep. Like some dunkle tunt. Like some funkle dunt. Like some brunkle flunt. Saving. All right. Thanks for that. Like some brental floss. Anyway, what? Mm hmm Speaking of brental floss, where the fuck are you, Jace? <laughs> He's recording a brental floss album. He's got to record <laughs> a brental floss album, then he's got to record a uh, biscuit video, and then he'll be here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what we're saying is, is that Jason has been playing brental floss and uh, Total Biscuit this whole time. God damn it. And Professor X. It's true. And Mr. Queen. Yeah. He gets the job done. Sometimes with his penis. What do you... What? So every bald guy you just think is Jason Amherst? Is that it? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. How could you not see this? It's just like, it's just like Mr. Dink being the son of Roger, <laughs> of Roger. and Skeeter. Yeah. Come on now. That means Roger and Skeeter had sex. <laughs> I love when you bully me. It makes me come. <laughs> Work the ship, nerd. <laughs> Has, has your childhood uh, sufficiently been ruined yet? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure all the Doug fans will be out in mass. How dare you? Who's that one fucking guy? 
that's been commentating on every single one of our videos. Oh, Jeremy Crockett. Hello, Jeremy. Who is so weird? I, I don't know. I, I don't. Listen. But all I, I know I is to... all I know is he's a fan of the show, and for that I appreciate him. I'm. It's just the things that he says sometimes. It's like mm, he's just trying to spark on. conversation. That's all it is. That's all that uh, I chalk it up to. Uh, I know the I, guess... I know the things that he says are kind of questionable at times, but just a smidgen on the questionable it's, side. It's whatever. Like I said, he's trying to spark conversation and he's trying to relate to the to the topics in the episode. It's not a big deal. It's, it's certainly yeah, people yeah. could say way worse. At least we're not being called, you know, homosexual slurs by 12-year-olds on the internet. So it could always be worse. How many people is fat, man? That's right. What's up, bitches? Do I, am I gonna, do I need to censor that? <laughs> what? I don't know. What, what did what did we say that uh, was question? I thought you said I thought you said the homosexual slur in question, but maybe I was misheard things. I said bitches. Yeah, but before that, it's not like he said something. <laughs> I said, I I can assure you, I did not say any kind of okay. slur. Thank you. Ah! Uh... Jeez, man, give me a little fucking credit. You talking to Equifax? Yeah. Oh, there's Protruger. His gross little fucking bird body. Oh, God. Oh, God. You have something that, belongs that is... Uh, yes, I have something that belongs to you. Shotgun bullets right to your face. This is my nightmare. It is. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Now that daddy took the T-Bird away. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. And we have fun, fun, fun. Now that daddy licked my ball sack away. Where'd you go? Where are you? Where'd you go? I want to blow of your body. motherfucking head off. There you are. There he is. Stay still. Wow, that thing's got some breach. Yeah. Oh, you motherfucker. Oof. Work on him with the plasma gun. Going crazy with oh, the G's. Oh, actually, I rocket launcher. Let's do that. Rocket launch. I got the rocket launcher. Where he go? God Get damn it. back here! How do you know if you're damaging I, I don't know. I was praying that I am at this point. I mean, if he's going to perch right up there on the head of that thing, I got a clear shot with the uh... rocket launcher. No, BFG is what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, that, that too. Hmm. And we'll have fun, fun, fun. Oh, wait a minute. Missed. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. Did you. Um. Was that? 
Oh. I was about to say, what the fuck happened? But there we go. Oh, shit. What? Okay, well. Well, thank God for oh. that. Defeat the maledict boss. Yeah, he was a dict, all right. A dict head. <laughs> well, actually. Holy shit. Hey, all right. We actually did beat it in plenty of time. Nice. I appreciate Woo. that. So this is, this is going to be the last episode of Doom 3 because we actually are going to – we can actually say we finished it. Hooray. Great. I'm very happy about that. Lovely. So we, got, we got a couple minutes here, but uh, – well, I don't know about you, but I gotta poop. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of have to too. So you want to go ahead and wrap this up? It's been, uh, we've recorded yeah. 50, this episode for fifty-one minutes. That, that's plenty. I think that's, so, I think that's that warrants enough. That's that's sufficient. Well, there you go. That's Doom Three: Resurrection of Evil, and that is in total the completion of all of Doom Three. Something we never did before. So there you go. Game is done. That means the next long play I mean, in this slot will I mean, be something oh. else. Are you going to the bathroom? Well, oh, I thought I, mean, you... I thought you were going to stay like I thought you were doing the outro. I am, but yes, thank you for joining us for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. And be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford Joan, I'm Mike Riley. Saying, see you next time. Poop time. Yep, I gotta poop.